welcome to Explore English Churches and today we are at St Mary the Virgin Church in the small village of North Hill in Bedfordshire and we're going to walk through this lich gate and take a wander around this wonderful little church. I do know that there are some wonderful features in this church. Um, now this is only a small village and as you can see uh, the stonework on this church is rather fantastic. The church itself was built between 1330 and 1370 um, and apparently the building of the church was actually interrupted by the Black Death or commonly known as the plague in this country in England and so I understand that uh, that can actually be seen within some of the stonework. We have this gorgeous door here and above the door uh, we have a rather large round window and two crests above which look rather interesting. I wonder if we can find some information about those on the inside but get a load of this door, look at the studs on it. How fabulous is that? Let's take a wander down and see what else we can find. The clock on the tower uh, was actually made by a chappie called Thomas Tompion um, who was born in a small hamlet just down the road and in around about 1639 and he was and became um, basically the father of clock making and many of the churches and elsewhere uh, would have Thomas Tompion clocks. Let's take a wander around inside. It is um, a very unusual church. Just as we walk in straight away what we notice is this lovely stained glass window here. And I also know that there are two other fabulous stained glass windows. Oh, look at this one also. A wonderful entrance to a church. And this, if I step back, will give you some idea of the ceiling. Yeah, very, very grand. It's been a while since I came to this church, so even I forget what's inside. Oh, it's very, very nice in here. Ho, ho, ho. Do I like this church. The pillars are absolutely unbelievable. Look at the beautiful colours and these wonderful pillars and these beautiful beautiful arches wow they are phenomenal as I say every church is different every single church and as I also always say here let's take a look down here is that Every church has a different feeling about it. This one is quite amazing. I'm going to try and show you as much as I possibly can. Uh, we are struggling a little bit with the light, so that's better. Okay, it is rather dark in here. I'm going to see if I can show you some of these figures. I don't know how well they come out. But this church is really stunning.
here we have a painting of a chap called Edward Fowler. Um, he lived between 1632 and 1714 and apparently uh, John Bunyan didn't like him very much at all and because we're in Bedfordshire and Bedford's not that far away um, if you haven't checked my other video out about Elstow and Elstow Abbey uh, where John Bunyan was actually a bell ringer this chap anyway here Edward Fowler actually became the Bishop of Gloucester um, I do wonder why he kept having falling out or they fell out with uh, John Bunyan <laughs> I don't know what the story behind that is let's take a wander down here um, it's quite a nice uh, rude screen this this church as I say has a fabulous feeling about it and look how ornate this is no doubt I'll be uh, stepping up there shortly we've got some lovely panels in here also stained glass window it's absolutely huge um, to give you some idea I think that's probably about 15 feet in depth and probably about eight or nine feet wide let's take a closer look fabulous I don't think the colors show up that well but it truly is a fabulous stained glass window here we have two wonderful stained glass panels um, that were made by John Oliver in 1664 wow there's one and we have another panel the other side let's take a look over there's also a beautiful big brass bell there I've just seen <laughs> let's have a look see if I can get round to this other panel can't get right over it's close to it because they have a uh, table in the way but to think that they date back to 16 what did I say 1664 these choir stalls actually date back to 1404 do know that uh, just down here uh, is this what they call I believe it's the old clockmaker's chest
I do hope you have enjoyed this uh, brief video of St. Mary's in the small village of North Hill. And please like, subscribe, and keep your eyes out for many more videos. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.